Yo, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this background stretch effect in After Effects, so let's hop right into this thing. And if you want to save time while editing, make sure to check out my website where there's a bunch of packs on there that will help you save time and make more money as an editor. So first up, you're going to roto brush out your subject. I already went ahead and did that here. If you don't know how to roto brush, uh, look up a tutorial on it. It's pretty simple. So first up with effects console, I'm just going to pull that up and add on turbulent displace. I'm just gonna set my keyframes here on the first frame with amount at zero. And then later in the clip, pretty early on, I'm just gonna increase the amount slightly and then I'll easy ease my keyframes by highlighting them and pressing F9. Um, and then when I open up my speed graph, I can just mess with this a bit. So as the background kind of starts to warp a little bit, that's when I'm gonna introduce the main effect for this concept. It's called Sapphire Stretch Frame Edges. And so as you can see here, if we start to mess with center squeeze, it's either gonna bring it in or bring it all the way out like that, which is a really cool effect. And, and then as well, you can mess with the center width as well. So this can help you get some really crazier kind of looks and you, you can make it span for the whole frame you can also mess with the border width stretch that out stretch it in you can mess with it going from side to side so right around here as turbulent displace is kind of starting to warp the background i'm going to add on the effect and keyframe the center squeeze you can leave that at the default at first and then later in the clip we're just going to increase that center squeeze or sorry decrease it so we're starting to get that right there and then of course easy ease those as well same thing go in your speed graph and i kind of want it to ease in slowly you know and kind of you know you can drag these keyframes out to get a certain look that you want and so so far we have something that looks like that now next thing that i want to do to make it extra smooth is keyframe the center width so it's right now at a default 0.4 but if i just go a bit further and increase that a little bit more it's just gonna kind of smooth it out even more once I easy ease those as well. And now the way that I'm bringing up these keyframes down here is I just click U on my keyboard, U for used, and it just automatically brings up all those and I can mess with those however I want. So I think one of my favorites is adding on this effect which is called Distort Chroma. This is also a Sapphire plugin as well. And so that's kind of what I did on this example here on the screen, but let's do something else. So what I'm gonna do is pre-compose this background layer and then duplicate the layer and I'm gonna add on this effect called HLS. And so this is built into After Effects. Basically on the first frame, you just set a keyframe for hue. And then on the last frame, you can have this cycle through a bunch of colors. So we have something that looks like that. And I'll have this start right when the stretch occurs. So I'll just move that keyframe over. You know what, I'll have this go through some more rotations. So it's like extra colorful. And then I'm gonna add on the Luma key effect. And I'm gonna set this to key out brighter. And then I'll just increase the threshold until I have, you know, kind of like half of what's on the screen. I'm going to add on a glow. So you can add on deep glow or sapphire glow and then just mess with this however you want to. And you can change the color. So you can just click on this little pen tool and click around for a color you like. And if you want to take away some of those highlights in there, you can increase or decrease the threshold. And then, of course, we can add on some lumetri color and increase the saturation just to make that stand out more. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how I did this example up on the screen. And if you want it to stretch out like how this example is at the very end of the clip. So what I'm going to do on this background layer is add an adjustment layer and put it right over the background layers and add on this effect called Warp Fisheye. This is also a Sapphire plugin. And basically what this does is it creates a bulge um, or it creates this kind of weird blob thing in the background, which can create some cool looks. So, you know, you just set keyframes using just a mount. It's really simple. So like if I added on optics compensation and clicked reverse lens distort, you can, as you see, get a bunch of cool like stretches like that. And then as well, if you want to add some color on him, you can add on lumetri color or the edge rays effect and then, uh, you know, decrease the, the length, decrease the brightness, uh, you know, whatever. And then you could uh, set that to you know any color that you want and then like keyframe that in and then as well what I did is I created an adjustment layer over all of it and then keyframed in saturation kind of before the background stretches 
I'll set my keyframes and then later in the clip, maybe, you know, increase the saturation to like 120, increase the contrast, decrease the shadows, and then like add on some flicker as well. So at the beginning, set that to zero and then increase that to, you know, whatever, like 0 0.7. Um, just, you know, for like some stylistic flair. Um, and as you can see, that just kind of helps the colors pop out, the glow pop out. And then the most important part before you export this is you want to create another adjustment layer and add on RSMB. If you don't know what that is, it just adds on motion blur. So as you see here, it just added on motion blur there. So like you see his hands in the background get a bit blurrier. And this is what it looks like without RSMB. Um, it just adds that really natural blur and kind of blends everything together Ugh, like he's like splitting this screen that looks sick and it's so stylistic man all right why the fuck did i just close the project please tell me that saved Ooh, thank goodness okay okay so this is the coolest part so here's another example i'll let it play out real quick boom so that's what the effect looks like right here and basically i just exported this background so this is what the background looks like and i'm going to turn this into a displacement map so i'll just drag this underneath my roto layer so i have the background layer and my roto layer i'm going to duplicate the roto layer get rid of the roto brush drag that to the bottom so this is our background here so we can rename this background and then we can rename the middle layer middle and on this background layer i'm going to add on sapphire distort now you don't have to use sapphire distort you can use displacement mapping you can use the built-in displacement map effect you can use displacer pro which is a free plugin but in this example i'm using sapphire distort so if i just go up here to lens and set this input to middle which we just named and i can now make that invisible the middle layer invisible and now as you increase or decrease the amount you see it's actually displaced to the background, our middle layer. So you get some really cool ripples in here and you can increase this as much as you want, as intensely as you want, or, you know, bring it all the way down to something really slight. Um, I think really slight looks really cool because it's like a puddle that's kind of like forming behind him. What I'm gonna do is right before he kind of splits the screen, you know, I'm gonna set the amount to zero. And then at the peak of when the screen is split, I can increase it until it looks pretty cool, right? And then when it goes back into the center, bring it back down to zero. And you can easy ease those or not, either way it'll look cool. And boom, that's what we got right there, which come on, bruh, that looks crazy. Um, I mean, ugh. So now what we can do is we can add on like a color grade. So this is where I'd add on some Lumetri color, or you know, you could do that later in Premiere Pro with one of my LUT packs. And again, like I said, uh, buy something from my pack. Um, otherwise I'll find you, give you a wet willy and <clears throat> squeeze your ball sack. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys. Have a good one and peace.